How's it going? Connor here from Train Like a Warrior and welcome back to week four of your free eight week Warrior Total Body Transformation Program exclusive here to my YouTube channel. Now if you're just joining me, today's session is going to be a 30 minute muscle building, shape and tone workout for your shoulders and your arms. This, is, this has been in high demand so I really want to push this session out here. We're going to perform 10 different strength exercises for three sets each. Each exercise we're going to perform for 40 seconds and take a 20 second rest in between each movement. For this workout you will either need a dumbbell, uh, two dumbbells, a kettlebell, anything that you can use for resistance that we can perform this session with, okay? So before we get into the workout, as always, please be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below after you perform the workout. Let me know how you get on. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all these free workouts here from the program and on the channel and let's smash this session. So before I set the timer, the first exercise is gonna be an Arnold press. So holding the dumbbells like so, coming up, rotate and press, okay? If you're just using one dumbbell, you can still do the rotation. You can go a few reps with one arm and then alternate. So say you get three reps and then switch around. And if you're just using the kettlebell, whatever it is, just press up above the head, okay? And the next exercise after this is gonna be curls. So you're gonna see me doing hammer curls like this here. You can still do that with one dumbbell or even the kettlebell. Hold it and curl it up towards your body, okay? So it's three sets for each exercise. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. I'm gonna get the timer set here. 10 seconds, count down. Let's really push ourselves, okay? Let's go for it. Up over the head. Right in. I'm pressing up. Every rep now throughout this session is going to be crucial. Keep the form solid. If your dumbbells or whatever weight you're using is a wee bit light, you can push out the intensity. If they're heavy, you can slow the reps down. Ooh, just focus on good solid form. Keep going. So we've done a lot of full body strength sessions with the weights here. Today is a more isolated uh, workout, just focusing on the shoulders and the arms. As so many of you really want to shape off that uh, part of your body, okay? Lean, strong, defined shoulders and arms. Right, set two. Let's go for it. <clears throat> Feeling that already. Throughout this whole workout, always have that in your head. Don't be afraid to take a quick rest and then go again. 40 seconds. It's a long work time. A few more seconds. Very good. Got one more set to do, then we're moving on to hammer curves or any curve variation that you can use with your piece of equipment. So we're working the shoulders, biceps, triceps, this workout. Auto press. Keep it going. Ah. Every rep, let's keep it pushing. Mm. Ah, a few more seconds. Oh. That's a killer. Okay, Hammer Curls is up next. Grab a quick drink. Let's keep this momentum. Feeling this one already. Right. Let's go again. Hammer curls now. Or any curl. So if you have the two dumbbells, keep your hands in close together. 
and curling up. If you have just the one dumbbell on your curl with both hands as I showcase, you know yourself, just try to mimic the movement. Try to mimic a curl through your work at the biceps. Right, 10 seconds. Come on, try to push out another few reps. Five seconds. Nice. Good work. Feedback has been brilliant with these strength based sessions. And I told you within this uh, workout program, within my channel, I really want to push proper, progressive, overloaded workouts. We're combining everything from strength, conditioning, body weight. We're doing it all. Let's go. Let's keep the momentum. Keep pushing out them cards. Come on. Ten seconds, let's go. Good, one more set. And I know there's a lot of women performing these workouts who maybe haven't done much weight training before, but they really want to shape off their physique. And I'm telling you, this is the way to do it, okay? Don't be afraid of lifting weights. So many of you are already seeing results from this type of training. It is a game changer. I know a lot of people are just used to performing a lot of cardio. We're doing a wee bit of cardio thrown in with this uh, workout program, but we're combining it with the strength. We're doing everything. Same for lads here if we want to put on a bit more size. All of this training is working towards that goal. Of course your nutrition is going to play, uh, play a key role in wherever your goals are going to be, whether it's fat loss or more size and strength. But the training, no matter what it is, especially this type of training, is going to help you push towards your goals. Okay, right, we're going to do our overhead tricep extension. I'm going to do it from the kneeling position as I feel a wee bit more tension on my triceps. You can also do it standing, it doesn't matter. It's completely up to you. Three sets for these overhead triceps. Right, up over the head. Show you from the side. Come down, full extension. Right, back up again. The same thing, if your dumbbell is a bit lighter, push out the reps. If it's heavier, go slow, controlled, and just get good form. Let's keep it going, we have 10 seconds on the clock. Five, a few more reps. Brilliant. One set, two to go. Doing brilliant. <clears throat> Throw the breathing, and let's get ready. Right, set number two, overhead tricep. Go for it. Keep it going. Arms are burning. A few more seconds, come on. Really thin this one. Good, one more set. Feeling pumped up already, it's only exercise number two, or three, sorry. Right, last set of these, and then we're moving on. Back with overheads.
Control the breathing. Try to keep the form solid. Oh. Triceps are on fire right now. Go on, a few more seconds. My arms are burning. Oh. That is mad. Right, the next one is side raises. So, dumbbell side raises. If you're only using one uh, dumbbell, cowbell, whatever it is, try to swing with the one arm, the one arm, a few reps, and then switch. And if it's too awkward, just hold the weight, go side, and go side, okay? Doesn't matter, as long as you're going with a bit of a side press. Ooh, these are heavy dumbbells for me for these side raises. So, this is what I would do if they're too heavy for you, right? Or if you're only using one. Go to the side like that. Okay? Oh, I'm gonna try to push out a few reps here. Now, as this is heavier for me, I'm not focusing on getting a lot of reps. I'm just focusing on trying to push out good form in the lower rep range. Good. Grab my drink. This is a killer my shoulders, my arms, everything. It's feeling this one. Right, ready to go again. A wee sway is alright if you have a heavier weight. As long as you're really not throwing a lot of momentum into it, try to keep as much tension on the shoulders and side delts as you can. Ooh. Come on. Keep it going. A few more. Come on, alright. Oh, I'm feeling this. Trying to make this the most effective follow along strength sessions as possible, especially here on YouTube. I told you that there's, there is very little off. Really pushing forward here. So let's keep on pushing with the intensity that you're doing. Get some incredible results. Come on, 10 seconds. If your dumbbells are a bit lighter, keep the intensity with your reps. I'm really struggling with this weight. I'm trying to keep the form as solid as I can. Right, bike into bicep curves this time. If you have the two dumbbells, alternate. Okay, if you don't, just do your curl again. It doesn't matter, we're overloading the body. We're pushing here, it's a bicep movement. It's a curl, it doesn't matter what height, as long as we're doing it. And that's another thing that I see so much here throughout workouts, is making excuses that you don't have the equipment. Other people make excuses whenever you can adjust any way you want. Like this is a curl movement, you can still perform the curl with whatever you can eh, come up with for resistance. This is why everyone's pushing forward so well here with this workout program. Instead of telling you that you can, a lot of people don't tell you anything and just keep performing the same workouts. This is the last exercise of round one. Okay, two more sets, and then we're gonna move on to five different strength-based exercises. Right, let's go for it again.
Good work, keep it pushing. <clears throat> we have 10 seconds. This is where it counts, always the last few seconds. Try to push out in our few reps. One more set, and then we're gonna take a 20 second rest, grab a drink, and then I'm gonna showcase the next exercises. Nicely done team, round number one complete, grab a drink, get ready for round number two. Okay team, we're moving on to round number two, and as I said at the start, if you have a chair or something to sit, Sit down on, uh, get that sorted now, okay? Because I want us to perform seated shoulder press, right? Sit down, up, and press. Now, if you have only one dumbbell, you can still do this, or a kettlebell, wherever it is, pressing up from the seated position. You want to try to keep your back as upright as possible, and press. If you have nothing to sit on, perform this on your knees, okay? From the kneeling position, and pressing up, right? So this is the first exercise. We're gonna do three sets in total. We have a 10 second countdown. Let's go for it. Right, where we go? Try to keep the form good and controlled. Tanya, we're taking this strength training, shaping off the body to the next level with these workouts. And as I always say, with strength training, it is a form of fat, fat loss training, okay? Because you're building good, solid, lean and tone muscle mass. It's high intensity, your nutrition is gonna play the key role for weight loss or muscle gain. And this is why we're doing everything within this uh, free Warrior 8 program. There's not much point of just doing cardio workouts all the time. There's not much uh, point of just doing the same bodyweight movements. We have to overload, do more bodyweight strength training, add a wee bit of resistance in if we can, and just keep pushing. And I know the better results that you see with my workouts, the more you're gonna tell everyone about how just effective they are. And you're not gonna to wanna to stop. And that's what it's all about. We just gotta keep pushing forward. I'm feeling this one. That's a killer. And use the time frame to suit you. Don't be afraid to rest. Like if you can only get maybe six reps or seven reps within the, the second set or the third set, take a rest. If you need to stop at that rep range, rest. Save yourself for the next set. Okay? I'd rather you focus on good solid form than just trying to push out in reps that aren't good. Ugh. 
Come on, a few more seconds. Good work, I'm gonna move the bench here out of the way for now. The next one is lying down, uh, presses, like a press, chest press, but hold the dumbbell in close and press it. If you're just using the one dumbbell, you're almost tucked in tight and press up. This is like a chest movement, but it's really focusing on the triceps. It's like a close grip, press. You do this with the bench press, you hold the bar close together to really work your triceps. You can let the dumbbells touch if you're using both, or you can keep a wee a gap between, it's up to you. And again, if you're just using the one dumbbell or a cowbell, just press. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Ready to go again. Second set. Ah. Woo. I really enjoy these types of workouts. That's why we're combining them all. We're combining the high intensity training with the weights, with the abs. Hey, let's go again. Finish it off. Push out. Good controlled reps. If they're a bit lighter, push the reps out. Bring the intensity. Hey, last one. Come on, let's go. A few more in the tank. Right, the next one is cross body curls. So you hold the dumbbell like that, cross it over, cross it over. If you're just using one or kettlebell or whatever, cross over the body, a few reps and then switch. Okay. Right, let's go. So cross it over, cross it over. If you're just using the one dumbbell, you can do a few reps with one arm and then switch. Just keep it pushing. Good work. Keep it going. Stop. It is intense. It's all worth it though. Think of the results, right? Go again. Cross it over. Let's 
Keep it going. Come on, a few more reps. Ten seconds. Every rep counts. That's probably my favorite curl. Really feel that. Right, we have one more of these to do, and then we're moving into front raises. Okay, hold it in. If you have just the one dumbbell or cowbell, just straight out in front. Okay. Let's go for it. Good work. Keep the form solid as always. That is us complete. Two more exercises, three sets each. Front raise, alternating if you have two dumbbells, and just straight if you have one or whatever you're using. Ah, right, let's go. Ooh, same thing, these dumbbells are heavy for me to do any sort of a raise with. But I'm gonna push, just gonna slow and get controlled reps. If yours are the opposite, if they're too light for you, go. A wee bit more intensity with the reps. <sighs> so many different ways to progress with this training. So don't let a weight limit you. Right? A few more seconds. <sighs> oh. Good. A few more sets. So we have two more sets and then our last exercise is going to be diamond grip push-ups. Now you can form them on your knees if it's too difficult. Okay? So get ready for that for the last exercise. Just want to put that in case I haven't got enough time to showcase. Oh, come on! Keep it going. We have 10 seconds on the clock. Every rep count. Come on. You see me struggle so much throughout these sessions. But that just goes to show you how real and raw it is. I'm not here performing workouts just for the sake of it. Come on. And this is why I really get results here. I have been training with personal trainers, doing online programs, you name it. And I'm getting better results here with my free follow along workouts here on YouTube. Just goes to show you the effort that I'm putting into these trainings to really push you. And I'm so happy that so many are finally realizing and giving me the feedback, sharing with your mates so we can grow this here. Oh, come on. Ah, a few more seconds. Oh. Right team, we have one more exercise and it's diamonds. Now if it's too difficult, perform on your knees. Or, before the timer goes, if you have a chair or a bench, lean up against it and do your diamonds from here. It might be a wee bit easier. Right, I'm going to try to push myself. I go with my feet elevated. Go for it too if you want to, if you want to try it. If not, do your normal one. We're on your knees or up against the bench. Oh, I think this one. Two more seconds. 
Oh, this is a killer for me right now. Keep it pushing, two more sets. Whatever level you want to pick as a diamonds, go for it. But the beauty of this exercise is you're engaging the core. You're working your shoulders on your triceps, the chest, everything's engaged here. I'm gonna try an RQ. Another technique you can use instead of going right with the diamonds, you can place your hands out just a wee bit wide, wider apart if you have any pain on your wrists. This is deadly for me right now. Well, that's where it counts. You want to feel that pain. You want to push yourself. You want to test your body. See what you've got. Five seconds. Come on, one more step. You just feel so much better whenever you get a good workout in. That's probably one of my favorite sessions yet. Although it was very difficult, it's enjoyable. All right, let's go for it. The finish line. Come on! Like even though I'm performing this up here, I'm not getting as many reps, but it's overload for me. So try to find that within your workouts. Even if it's a wee bit more difficult and you're getting less reps, it's good to mix it up. A few more seconds. Oh. There it is, team. There it is, your killer. 30 minute shoulders and arm uh, muscle building and tone and workout complete. Just wanna say a big well done as always. That is not easy. We're really pushing ourselves with these workouts and just so happy to see you progress alongside with me. It really keeps me motivated. It keeps me determined with this workout program and with all these free sessions here on my channel. So as always, please be sure to leave the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you got on with this workout, okay? Also share the sessions with your mates, get them in on it. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Really has me out grow this channel. It's free and as always, tag me in your Instagram stories because I absolutely love to see who's working out alongside with me. Once again, keep up the hard work and I'll see you in the next one.